Our dad, Herbert W. Evans Jr., was a longtime admirer of Hirschhoff sailboats, and in particular, he admired Banzai that he had seen many times over the years on Long Island Sound prior to his purchase of this New York 30 in 1969. Although we do not know the origin of Banzai's namesake, we do know that in Japanese, Banzai is a form of greeting used to address the Japanese emperor. Bink was a longtime participant in the marine industry and active for most of his career as the president of Woolsey Marine Paints. The boat was moored at the American Yacht Club in Rye, New York during the time he owned her from approximately 1969 until 1974. The three Evans siblings have many fond memories of sailing Banzai on Long Island Sound. It seems whenever we took her out for a sail, there were always many other boats that would come to view this beautiful gaff rig boat under sail. Sailing an older boat, of course, provided many interesting and challenging experiences, including one of the side stays snapping under sail and having the tiller break in half on a very windy day. The annual varnishing of that mega mast on a boatswain's chair was always an adventure. We parted with Banzai in 1974 when our dad gifted the vessel to the Mystic Seaport Museum in Mystic, Connecticut. We are here to have a joyous reunion with the yacht Banzai, a Harishoff New York 30, that our dad owned from 1969 to 1974. Right. Yep. And we were, of course, all of different ages, so the impact of the, our time on Banzai was different. I was uh, in college at the time, but just loved the opportunity to sail. And, you know, having an exposure to classic things has driven me. Uh, in life later on. I actually am a restorer of classic cars, and so uh, that classic interest goes on, as well as, of course, a continued boater. And, and for, for me, my passion continues to be sailing on Lake Minnetonka out in Minnesota. And so, Holly. I was only nine years old when my dad mm. bought Banzai, so um, I was, he had it from when I was nine until I was 14. And although I'm not a real sailor today, I have some amazing memories from that boat and incredible adventures. But what I will say is I learned a lot of things. I, um, one of the things that I learned was actually patience because whenever we sailed with other boats, we always got there way before anyone else. And we always have to wait for them to show up. <laughs> An amazing ship and something that also I think really gave me an appreciation for the classics and history and tradition and um, that appreciation of the fact that the oldest boat was always the fastest. Planking on the inside of the yeah. ribs and frames, yeah. they were gone, and wow. that was a structural part of the boat. So the whole boat was twisting and flexing. Oh my God! Oh boy! So that's why it was leaking so badly. And that's why it was leaking so bad. The major renovation yeah. in Greenport. In Greenport, that yeah. wooden boat works. Right. And so they did an extensive, extensive refit. Uh, but right at the beginning of that project, the former owner called up and he said, "Wait a minute! I heard that you guys are doing an extensive refit of Bonsai. Is that right?" We say, yeah. He goes, well, I've got the original interior. It's been in my barn for 40 years, and it's been my life goal to get that interior redone oh and put back my. in the boat. Wow. I just retired. Let me come back and donate a month of my time to getting that interior into the boat. Maybe. Yeah, that we were looking at trying yeah. to see the history of the different names, and he apparently was handy himself somewhat. Yeah, and I'm it, pretty sure I'm, it was a name like, like that. A yeah. 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 So he came down for a month and helped out the wooden boat. Wow. And then, uh, and then currently, uh, the skipper of this boat, I'm talking about the volunteer skippers. Right. Uh, right here is the Woodworth family. Don Woodworth grew up sailing Bonza. I don't know if he was predates you or postdates you. Oh my. Uh, wow. Don, Don oh, yeah. also just retired. He's uh, he's probably 70. Wow. So he's a few years older than us. Five yeah, years older or so. Us, I bet. Yeah, well, but he could have been after. I would think after. Yeah. I would think after. Unless he was like only nine or something like that. I really yeah. I don't know this timeline yeah. except that he's, his, yeah. his family is very intimate with the boat and 